Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to make this quick video about how to make a mouse sock. I think I skipped this in my previous video, so I wanted to just make this video really quick. It looks like this. It's actually really easy to make. So let's just uh, get into it. So I'm just going to hide this and bring up this body. So I have this head that doesn't have a mouse sock. We'll just add it real quick. All we need to do is go from the side view and just imagine what the mouse towards the esophagus looks like. And we can do that with just a cube. You can hold V and bring it up like that just snap hold v and then middle drag it'll snap to the closest vertex and then let's add a couple of divisions we want to add some divisions in depth like this just three and then we're going to make a shape that looks like this so we're just kind of make this type of shape and if you're not sure, you can look at the reference of what it looks like. If you press five and then press this button, the X-ray button, you can see what that looks like. We can also, at this point, delete uh, this face here. So you can press F11. This will take you into face selection mode. Select this face and delete it. And now it just makes a hole at the end. We're just gonna place it here. And then proceed to make the sock shape. Uh, some people make a hole at the bottom. Uh, I don't do that. I just like to have it just round off. It's really up to you. And uh, that should be it. Now we're going to look at it from the front or perspective view. Whoops. Just press the x-ray button. And then here, we're going to use this opening here to match the width of the mouth. So you just match it roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we can use edge selection here. And then just make uh, our mouth suck. You just make it large enough to hold uh, the teeth, the gums, and the tongue. That's it. You can take the bottom here and just pinch it off. If So here's a little trick. I can't click on these vertices because um, the head is in the way. Just right-click right, right -click an empty space and then click Vertex. That will let you make that selection. Okay. Doesn't have to be too wide. So a bit like this. And let's make this a little bigger in the back. There we go. Now we need to connect uh, the mouth sock to the mouth. And the first thing we need to do is figure out, let's turn off x-ray, is how many edges we have on the outside uh, of the mouth. Or basically just the loops that are coming through here. You can also double click this open edge, but uh, any edge on the lips will do and if we go into display heads up display and then turn on poly count you can then see we have 40 edges so we know that all we need to do is create 40 edges here and we'll be able to create this um be able to connect this mouse sock to the body or the head so right now if i press one it looks like this three will subdivide it if i subdivide it once using the smooth you can double click this outside edge. This will tell us it's eight. So we'll just subdivide one more time. Now, before we subdivide again, at this point, what you can do is um, line this up to the lips a little more because we have a little more geometry here. So I can select these vertices in here and just kind of move them forward towards the lips. And then the, these corners here, move them back like that just so they start to kind of match. And also now we have these, these corners, these vertices here, we can bring those like that. Right, so we get a better connection. If you want, you can be a little more precise with this, but you really don't have to. Let's subdivide one more time. And we're starting to get closer. If I double click this edge, it's 16. Okay. We're getting there. If I subdivide one more time, it is now 32, right? So at this point, what I can do is add some edge loops. Uh, I'm going to set it to relative, autocomplete, and insert with edge flow. Because what I know that's happening here is that this is now 32, so we need 40. So if I just go in here and start adding loops, and I'm gonna add them on the corners because this is where most of my geo here is on the lips, a bit turn wireframe. So I can go in here and kind of add them here 
like that. And you can see what's going to happen is it will add them uh, with curvature. All right, so now if I double click, it's going to tell me it's 36. So we just need two more. So I'm going to do this uh, basically the same thing I was doing, but go out uh, on either side like that. There. And if we double click now, it's just 40. So now we can connect them. But what I want to do is just to kind of smooth this out a little bit. I want to take this edge, hold shift, right click, and then click edit edge flow. And then select this edge and press G. It will do the same thing. Select this edge, press G, and then this one G. G just re uh, creates the last command you did. We are now good to connect the mouse arc to the head. Uh, the only thing is you can see that inside of the head, my faces are black because they're inverted. So the inside of the mouth needs to be uh, gray. And then the outside of the mouse needs to be black. So I'm going to go into mesh display and click reverse. That will reverse our normals. Now they're all facing the proper way. And now if I select the, uh, the mouth sock, select the head or the body, if it's all one object, click combine, clear history. Now I can select the outside edge of the lips and then the outside edge holding shift, double clicking the outside edge of the mouth sock. And if I click bridge, it will make the connection. Now, uh, if you're not seeing the little uh, thing that pops up on top, sometimes you don't see it. Uh, all you have to do is just go into object mode, click bridge and then press T. And this will bring up this window. Sometimes it doesn't show up, sometimes it does, or if you lose it, and that's what you need to do. And then in this little window, we have this bridge offset. So if you left click and drag, you can see it's going to offset our connection. And you do that until it matches and just keep going. And right there, oops, one more time. And there, it now matches. Now, sometimes you won't get a perfect connection. You can see how it's like kind of weird over here. All right, so I want to smooth this out. And that's actually easy to do. You just select this edge, the first edge that's not like connecting properly, shift, right click, and click edit edge flow. Then go to the next one, press G, 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 and then go back. Like that. And that should be it. Now they are connected. So if we go inside, we can press three. You can see the metal stock is connected. Uh, it has a different material. Let's assign a, a new material. Uh, let's see, existing, I think, where we have here. Let's just do standard surface one. And there it is. And you can see it is now connected to the mouth side. If you look at the wireframe uh, with x-ray, you can see what that looks like. Nice and smooth. Turn the wireframe off. That's it. So now when you open the mouth, you will be able to see inside the mouth without having to see an empty space. That's it. Uh, I'm still working on the closed video, so check back soon, and I'll see you guys next time.